好的，呃 ，Hello everyone, welcome back to Cunha Live Broadcast. I'm sorry, I'm just、uh, I'm your host today, Sam, for the topic today, and we invited our P and Dan here because we have a new accessory、uh, ready to launch the market, <coughs> and what that will be. Uh, it's a ten gigabit Ethernet card. It's a dual port and support the multi gigabit inter、uh, Ethernet card. Support five speed. So people you may know,、uh, you may remember, we have a single pro Ethernet、mm -hmm. card, multi gig,、mm -hmm. uh, support multi gig as well. So we have dual port, uh, multi gig Ethernet card today. The name is QXG dash ten G two T dash one O seven. And the one o seven is the name of the chipset. It's from Alcantara as well. Okay, so、uh, we will we will introduce more for this new accessory by these three topics. And basically,、uh, we will start from this card. And、uh, since we are using Alcantara, so、uh, I believe that most of you know that we work with Alcantara for the、uh, for the inter、uh, the the chipset. Yeah. So that is why we can support you the <coughs> MBST from 10 gigabits into、yeah. the、uh, 100 megabits, right? So、uh, the the brands at the right hand side to this picture is all the partners that work with the Aquansha. Yes, which is、uh, a proof that、uh, why we choose to use Aquansha as our partner for the 10 gigabit cards. And well, basically we have the 10 gigabit cards, like last year, but it's only one port. I'm not really sure that it's why, one port. I said, <laughs> but I'm not really sure why we are having the two ports for the for the card now. Why? Why? Because、um, if you have two you, if you have two ports, you、mm. can do、uh, some applications、uh, like you can do port chunking.、Mm. You can combine two ports as one, so your performance will be getting better. Or you can. Uh, take one port to do the arrow aggregation, so it's a fail over port.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds sounds good. Reasonable. And for the port chunking, so is that one、uh, 10 gig with 10 gig plus 10 gig, so 20 gig? Yeah, or 20 gig. Is 10 gig plus 10 gig、uh, become 20 gig? So, so the proportions proportions is、uh, would be doubled. But it depends on your hardware specification and hardware design. So, so 20 gig is theoretically. Yes. Okay. And、uh, this is why <coughs> we want to let you know that、uh, the the. The what? <laughs> everyone, okay, know, everyone what? should know that the cat six <laughs> or above is required for the 10 gigabit. Yeah. So in the before,、um, everybody use one gig and 10 gig. You、mm -hmm. have only two choice: one gig or 10 gig. So if you are using one gig and you want to jump to ten gig,、mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? You need to change the cable from the Cat five E to Cat six, and also you need a ten gigabit internet switch, and that's、uh, very expensive in before. So we have multi gig this technology. You can、uh, use your original Cat five E five E cable, and you can reach to five gigabit、uh, per second. So you don't need to spend、uh, a lot of money to change your cable, change your equipment. Then you can reach to five G. So if you want to reach to ten G, you need to change the cable to Cat six above. So this is the chart for your reference. Yes.、So、for your current、uh, current in,、uh, current Ethernet cable is the Cat five E. Yes. Most of common、it. cable. Yeah. You just change this card and you can enjoy the five G speed if. You have the 5 gig bandwidth, and your router can support 5 gig, right? Yes. But if you don't, then you can still use what what speed you have for now. But if you want to use the 10 gig, you need to at least upgrade Cat to six. Cat six above or above. And why is the 55 m squared in that chart? Yeah, because when you use a Cat six, the distance is only 50 uh 55 meters. So if you want to、uh, do a long distance transfer,、uh, transfer, you need to use Cat six A or Cat seven.、Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so let's check on the difference between these two、uh, previous the QXG ten G one T and、uh, the current QXG ten G two T. Well, basically, it's just one port into two port. Yeah. And you can do failover, you can do port chunking, or you can just Connect two different devices with the dual port ten,、uh, QXG 10G2T. Is that、uh, right? Yeah, that's right. 
Mm -hmm. So if I connect two <coughs> devices into this uh, this card, so two of the devices will have the 10 gigabit uh, bandwidth or the transmission speed, theoretically, right? Theoretically speaking, yes. Okay. And and okay, this is the. Um, uh, we design this card as a low profile form factor so you can easily to install this card on uh, several kinds of uh, platform mm -hmm. and NAS and PC mm -hmm. workstations and the low profile breaking is pre-installed so and also we have the full head and desktop uh, flat mm -hmm. break kit mm -hmm. in the package so you don't need to worry about if I want to use this card on different models and because we have we give you all the uh, possible break kit so you can use it mm -hmm. and as usual we uh, for this card we can support the, the NAS or the PC and other workstation as long as the device is PCIe supported yes. so uh, you can use it with your computer or with your current NAS yeah so for NAS uh, for NAS you don't need to download a driver because the driver is installed in the QTS so just update your QTS firmware to latest version you can plug and play and for Windows PC and Linux you, you need to download driver from Accontia website mm -hmm. and this will be the, the test result for the different uh, speed of the uh, of the bandwidth, right? Yeah, literally from the page. Mm. Everybody knows about it. Yeah. So why don't we just see it? Why just give? We we can just <laughs> we can just do the demo for the viewers, so they will know the actual situation here. Is it too small? Is uh, it okay. So we in, we install this card to a PC and we transfer a big file size is about 10 gigabyte to a NAS which has um, another PCIe card inside so I just show you how fast the 10 gigabit internet okay so this here is a 10, giga, 10 gigabyte file here I just drag and play a uh, drag and plug drag and drop <laughs> what are you <laughs> drag and drop here uh, here Okay, so you can see the performance is over one gigabyte per second. So it's a 10, 10 G speed. Yeah, it's 10 G speed. Okay. <coughs> and then Do I need to reverse? Mm -hmm. Okay. So where is the delete? Okay, now uh, <coughs> now I want to uh, move the file, the 10 gigabyte, the 10 gigabyte file from the NAS to the PC. Okay. Mm -hmm. So both read and write, the performance performance is over one gigabyte uh, per second. Okay. So, so the speed is <coughs> real. Yeah, it's real. And any other demo? It's not a video. I just do it. It's not video. So that's all. Yeah, that's all. And let's go back to the slides. Okay, so basically, this is the new new accessory that we want to let you know that, okay, when, when will this uh, new 10G card released into the market? Uh, it's, it has been on the market right now. Uh, mm. We just um, launched it uh, two weeks ago. So mm -hmm. you can find it uh, from the e-channel market or mm -hmm. our, our official shop. Okay, so next we will teach you how we will let you know how to uh, apply this card to your uh, internet uh, internet uh, architecture. Okay, so you can choose to use our 10 gigabit switch for the QSW 12 port or 8 port, or you want to use the newer version of the Q uh, Q switch 308S and uh, 308C. But be careful when you choose. The, the, the models because for the black version the QSW 120AAC and 8044C if you need more combo port then you should choose this one and if you only uh, and if you need more 10 gigabit uh, internet connector you should choose this one but for the 308S and 308A1C 
you can check that most of the ports are one gigabit and uh, for the 10 gigabit you can choose to have sfp plus for three which is the 308s or you can choose the 3081c which is three sfp plus with 10 gig performance and another uh, another rj45 connector with the 10 gigabit speed so if you need more than uh, three 10 gig speed choose the black version if you need three or less than three with the sfp plus choose a 308s but if you only need uh, SFP plus and RJ45 connector, but also lower than three, choose the 3081C. And the 1C is the combo port. Yes. Yes. So in this picture, you will see that the combo port can support up to 10 gig and uh, from 100 megabyte. Yes, that's right. Then this is an uh, architecture to show you how you can connect all your devices from your home or your small business office. Okay. Then you can you can connect every of your NAS, your t smart TV, your notebook, your PC in, in uh, to the to the white version QSW 3081C, and then from the 1C go to your one gigabyte Wi-Fi router, and then go to the internet or go to other Wi-Fi devices. So this is for the uh, most common uh, architecture and uh, structure for a uh, internet. Then. This is a comparison chart for you to let you know that if you have different requirement for your internet structure, what, spe uh, what spec you should choose. So you can just read this and choose the one you need. And all of these uh, models are in the, in the market. online shop right yes. now. Okay. Yes. And of course, for the, for the 10G switch, we also need to let you know other of our high-speed NIC series. Like we have the 10 g 2 t X550. It's that? from Intel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, mid, uh, the middle page we have a main nodes. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, support ISER and Rocky is CPU overload function mm -hmm. supported. So we have dual, uh, dual port 10 gig and 25 gig, uh, SAP Plus and SAP, SAP 28. So if you need um, some some functions and need a heavy heavy duty on computing. And you want to reduce the loading of the CPU, you can choose these two cards from mm -hmm. main mm -hmm. uh, If you want to do some flexible usage, uh, like you want to do 5G and uh, you, you don't have too much money to to <laughs> update your entire entire infrastructure. We don't say that. <laughs> if your budget, budget is limited. Okay. So you can choose a tier. We mm -hmm. have one pole and dual pole. That's rude. Sorry. <laughs> and of course, we have other uh, Q series uh, network adapter. So, <coughs> this is our QA series. You can choose the UC5 gig 20, uh, turn one of your USB into a internet connector with a uh, MBase T port. Or you can choose the 10 gig uh, solution for the T3, 10G1 T for the Thunderbolt 3, or the other T3 10G1S for SFP Plus port. Okay, choose by different of your requirement and your actual usage. And it depends on what kind of laptop you are using. If mm -hmm. uh, you are using Maple Pro, you have only Thunderbolt 3 ports. You need to choose a Q1A T3 series. Mm -hmm. So you will help you to update your internet to 10 gigabit internet. Yeah. yeah, and we do have a lot of different QM2 cards, like the, the, the left hand side, the QM2 2P 10G1 TA. That is a single port and can support 10 gigabit and base T connector with two NVMe SSD slots in the body and it's a PCIe Gen 2 by 4 the interface. Or you can choose the QM2 2S 10 g one ta That is uh, also a PCIe Gen 2 by 4 interface, but it's a two SATA M.2 SSD slots inside. And for the 2P is NVMe, so that is the difference. It's all by a Concha chipset. Yes, set, yes. Okay? So support multi gear as well. Mm -hmm. And we have other informations for you, like how you can speed up your PC or your workstation by our one gigabit switch or our ten gigabit switch, with all the accessories to upgrade your current uh, devices. Then you can have higher speed from your devices into your NASes. 
or you can choose to use our QNAP, uh, QNA series for 5 gig or 10 gig then connect to one of other uh, one of your Q switch then to your NASIS and the left hand side you can choose to use your Mac or other of your video editing workstation mm -hmm. these are what we have done to provide you to upgrade your uh, internet transmission speed in the lowest cost yes okay and of course if you want to go to a 25 gigabit ultra speed you can also choose this like our QXG 25 gig to SF CX4 it's a very long name but just remember that we can provide you a card that can upgrade your speed into 25 gig it's almost 3 gigabyte per second mm -hmm. so it depends on uh, what kind of uh, SSD you are using and uh, it's powerful of your CPU, powerful of your uh, your memory mm -hmm. so it depends on all the hardware design so um, we just did a test that uh, we use three PC and we transfer a file to a uh, 83SU so you can see the result is good the performance is al almost 3 gigabyte per second it's like they are doing the dragging and dropping yes, yes. all at the same time but still yes. we can get around 3 gigabyte per yeah, second right? yeah. okay that is the solution we can also provide to you so from the low speed to the high speed we all have solutions for you so this is another solution is called cache solution since you know that we can provide you the QM2 card can give you a chance to install your PCIe or your SATA M.2 which we can also provide you to use the cache function well then this will increase the uh, file drag and drop speed through our NAS and your uh, and our Q switch yes okay so these are the supported models for different SLP Plus port connector, RJ45 MBSD connector, or the combo port connector. So uh, choose by your own demand, and uh, we believe that the Q accessories will also give you the best solution and the best performance. Then we go back to life. Why are you laughing at me with this face? Okay, anything you want to say? or to tell our viewers as conclusion for today. and um, all the PCI card and the switch is on the official website mm -hmm. and you can check some details from our product page and also if you are interested in these products you can find it on the e-channel or our official web shop yep and thank you for your introduction to this new car today and since it, it has been released to the market <laughs> yeah. for two weeks why are we doing this so slow well, if you want to get more information about this card, please go to live.qnap.com and if you want to check out more videos or more other, more other of our products, go here, please. And we will see you next time on QNAP Broadcast. Bye. Bye-bye.